What's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Monarchy Cinnamons, and I get a lot of sublet at work to my shop because one, they don't know how to fix it, or they don't know what they're doing, or they don't have the facility and the equipment and the inventory to do it. So this is called radiator side catalytic converter installation failure. So it looks like they bought a factory converter from the dealership, and then they installed it, and then they never put the bracket back on that supports the catalytic converter from hanging on its own from the vibrations, the heat, and you know, the conditions of this. It, it, the exhaust system, you know, moves back and forth. So without that supporting bracket, it cracks. So what happened is they sent it to me to have it repaired, but once I looked at it and said, hey, you're missing a supporting bracket, I don't have one, but I'm gonna have to make one. So from this bolt to there, I gotta make some type of bracketry up. In the interim, <laughs> the flex pipe fell apart, so I figured I'd show the video on how I saved the front pipe assembly that has two flex pipes and a converter in it without calling, you know, my uh, subletter and saying, hey, I need the front pipe assembly also on top of fixing, you know, either your installation or however the car wound up at your shop. I suspect P period B boys did the install on someone effed up. Nevertheless, this is a, a two for video how not to screw up installing the catalytic converter. Uh, when you're doing this. And then how to save the front pipe without replacing the whole front pipe by just repairing the flex section. Thanks for watching.